All right, so you've set up the program on your computer, you've started it, and now you're ready to set up your first game. Uh, so first thing you need to uh, decide is how many gear locks are you going to play with. If you are new to the game, start with one gear lock, by all means. Once you get comfortable playing with one, you can progress to two. Uh, even if you're good at the game, trying to manage three or four gear locks takes a little bit of skill. Uh, because you got to keep everybody's sort of uh, tactics in, in your head. Uh, but it's, it's certainly playable and doable, so uh, I would simply say uh, control the number of gear locks uh, based on your experience and uh, proceed at your own caution. At your own risk, I guess I should say. Okay, once you've selected the number of gear locks, and I'm going to just say one for now. Actually, I'm going to say four for now but uh, just so I can illustrate different things. But if you're new to the game, you're, you're, you're selecting one gear lock. Next thing you need to choose is uh, which tyrant you want to face off uh, with. These are ordered uh, pretty much in order from easiest to hardest uh, and shorter game to longer game. Uh, if you're new to the game, go against Molmesh. Once you've gotten some experience with Molmesh, and maybe you've been able to defeat him, then go on to Trellin, and then Nam, and so forth. So, um, uh, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty obvious. Now, when you do select a, gear, uh, a tyrant from the list, you'll see that the card changes to reflect which tyrant you're, you clicked on. You can click on the card to see the back side of the card if you want to get more information about that tyrant, how you, well, what, what kind of skills he has, uh, what's involved in the setup, that sort of thing. Um, but again, I would say stick to Momesh if you're new to the game. All right. The, then you've got the different gear locks. Now, obviously, if you've only selected one gear lock, then you're only choosing from one list. If you selected four gear locks, you're choosing from four different lists. I've oriented the list of the gear locks arguably from easiest to hardest. Uh, at least in my opinion, certainly Patches and Picket are probably some of the easiest to work with if you're new to the game. Um, I kind of think that Tantrum and Tink, and even Boomer to a certain extent, are harder if you're not so new to the game. Even Gilly's a little bit, uh, I would say Gilly's kind of medium. Uh, I, Patches, Picket, and Nugget are probably the three easiest gear locks to work with for sure. And then uh, after that, I would call gear, Gilly, maybe Boomer, medium. But Tantrum is a little more advanced, and Tink is certainly, pro I think, the most, mo you need to have a lot of experience under your belt to play with Tink. If you're new to the game, you're playing with one gear lock, and you can just hit the number one too. That will work. The number one, uh, and uh, that'll and you're working with patches. But for my example, I'm going to select four gear locks here, and we'll just work with patches, picket, nugget, the three easiest, and then gilly as the fourth. Once you've selected your tyrant, your gear locks. Uh, if you're new to the game, you're going to want to select Greenhorn mode. That gives you that starts you off with two health and a, a free experience, a free training point. Uh, it also uh, gives you another benefit that I probably don't need to go into right now. So new to the game, stick with g uh, Greenhorn mode. Uh, once you get a little more experience under your belt, move into Casual mode. Uh, with normal mode, obviously you don't get any freebies, no benefits. Uh, so you better be good at the game uh, before you um, before you go into normal mode. Then you've got these three little modifiers that will further make the game easier or harder, frankly, if you want. So uh, this HP box is uh, if it's a negative value, it's going to reduce the starting health of all baddies when they come onto a onto the battle map. So if you want to make the game even easier than Greenhorn mode, uh, put in something like a minus one here. Um, minus two probably is a, making it a little too easy, but I wouldn't go, I wouldn't certainly go, I would, I would, would not certainly go below minus two. Now, 
you're, I'm clicking on this box to reduce it, and I'm right-clicking on this box to increase it. That's a standard methodology of my program. When you have a box that has a counter in it, typically, if you left-click it, you're making it go down in value, and if you're right-clicking it, you're making it go up in value. So now that you know that, now that you know that, and, it's, and the tooltip, uh, at least in the setup screen, uh, uh, makes that clear. Left cl left click to decrease, right click to increase. And as you, as you see here in negative value, we'll reduce the starting HP health points, hit points of all baddies to a minimum of zero. If you are experienced and want to make the game even harder, then you can bump up the HP of all baddies by one. But uh, I think the game's hard enough. So if you're new to the game, maybe maybe start with minus one here. If you if you want to make it even easier, uh, this uh, if you put a negative value here, you're going to reduce the the attack stat, the number of attack dice that all baddies will roll by one, uh, to a minimum of one. So if a baddie typically rolls say three attack dice with a minus one in this box, you're basically saying that that baddie's only going to roll two attack dice. But no matter what value you put in here, what negative value you put in here, uh, the baddie's always going to be able to um, roll a minimum of one attack die, assuming that everything else allows them to, to, to roll attack dice. Uh, there, there are different ways in the program that you can modify baddie uh, attack dice, and of course that will override this value, and you could potentially change those values and, and have the baddie not roll any attack dice. But here, just putting a minus one will make the game easier. Uh, similarly, if a baddie rolls defense dice, uh, and I think for the most of the baddie would ever roll would be two. Most baddies don't roll any defense dice, but some roll one, some roll two. Uh, if you put a negative value in here, then you're reducing the number of defense dice that a baddie could potentially roll uh, to a minimum of uh, zero. So if a baddie, let's say, had two defense dice, now he's only rolling one defense die. Uh, if you make this defense die minus two or anything less than that, uh, that's, that's basically saying, okay, baddies are never going to roll defense dice. Again, new to the game, eh, maybe a minus one in each of these boxes will make it nice and easy for you so, you don't, uh, so the game doesn't beat up on you too much. Uh, and likewise, if you're very experienced with the game and want uh, a tougher, uh, some tougher competition, you can make these positive values in any way you'd like. Uh, once you're ready to continue, click OK, and the screen will come up. We get a message that says, because we selected uh, Greenhorn mode, each gear lock now has a, a plus two at, uh, on their stat. For their health, and their health has been raised by two. So Patches normally starts off with a health of five, but because we're in Greenhorn mode, he's starting off with health of seven because he's got this two die in his health stat. Also, because we're running in Greenhorn mode, we get the message that says each gear lock may now gain one training point of their choice. The other thing I want to point out is that all those offsets uh, to HP and attack stat and, and defense stat that we set up in the uh, setup screen are also reproduced down here at the bottom of the program window. So at any time, you can change these values if you want to, or you can uncheck the use offsets box. Maybe in the beginning of the game, you don't need help, so you uncheck that box and then those offsets are being ignored. As the game gets uh, proceeds, maybe you want a little bit more help, help from the game, so uh, from the program, so you turn on use offsets, and you go with minus one across the board. If it gets really hard later in the game, uh, and you want to make it easier on yourself, by all means, you can, uh, let's say, knock the health down to minus two, and that will uh, make new baddies coming onto the battle mat uh, even easier to defeat. All right, that's enough for this video. Uh, I'll see you in Chapter 3. Thanks. Bye.